Yes people, hope everyone's good. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to hook up crazy, melodic, dark trap beats using stock plugins in FL Studio. This one's gonna be lit as always, make sure you stay tuned. And if you're new around here and you like this type of content, what are you guys doing, man? Come and join the family, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well. Anyway, enough talking, come and join me on my screen and let's get straight into the cook up. Damn severe, that's crazy. Welcome to the video. Like I say, I'm going to be showing you guys how to cook up some dark melodic trap beats today. I'm going to be using stock plugins for the melodies. I'm going to be showing you guys you don't need real expensive VSTs to create some heat. And keeping it simple can actually go a long way. This one's going to be fire. You know the vibe. I've cut up three melodies off camera. What we're going to do, I'm going to run through these melodies one by one and I'll show you what we're working with. For the first melody, we actually jumped into Flex. We went over to the mobile synth pluck section and we ended up using this sign pluck winner preset. For the effects on this one i've taken out a few lows and a few highs with an eq and we've also got this fruity reverb 2 on it as well this is the melody that we have for this beat i'm in 155 bpm and we're over in f minor this is the pattern that we came up with For the second melody, we actually jumped into Citrus and we ended up using the Dream Bell preset. For the effects on this one, once again, I've got a fairly basic EQ taking out some lows and highs. And we also have this fruity chorus as well. It's a real simple pattern, but this is what we came up with. For the final melody, we actually stayed in Citrus. However, this time we ended up using the flute preset. Once again, for the effects, we've got a fairly basic EQ taking out some lows and highs. And I've raised a few of the high mids as well. And we actually have this fruity convolver. This is basically just another form of reverb. And there's some real nice presets in here. This is basically the pattern that we came up with for that. Now this is all three patterns that we came up with played together. That's sounding nice, it's sounding real dark. And what we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna waste no time. We're gonna get straight into some drums. So first off, I'm gonna start with a hi-hat. You know the vibe, straight into the clockwork hi-hat midi kit as well. We're just gonna speed this one up a little bit. What we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna get straight into some percussion. So I'm gonna grab a few snares, a few perks, and we're just gonna get the bounce going. So let's see what we can come up with.
So we've got a nice little pattern on the go. We've kept it fairly simple. We've got a main perk kit in, and we've actually got quite a few different snares and perks filling up certain pockets as well. What this does is just fills up some of the empty spaces in the beat and just adds to the bounce even more. So this is the pattern that we have so far. Hey, so it's sounding nice and bouncy. And um, what we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna waste no time. We're gonna get straight into the 808. Yeah, baby. Hey, that is sounding hard. What we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna add in a kick and we're gonna make the 808 punch a little bit harder. What we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna right click the pattern, split by channel, and we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna rearrange this into a full beat. So we've got a nice little bit of structure on the go. I've added in a few different effects out of my kit. And what this does is just basically lets the listener know that there's something new about to come in. We've also got these beat cutouts here and there as well. This just adds to the tension of the beat and stops the track sounding so repetitive as it goes on. And lastly, we've got my tag in there as well. And I think that pretty much tops it off for this one. So I think all that's left to do now is just have a quick listen. <laughs> nice little braid down and then straight back in. sounding too hard i'm liking the sound of this one okay guys that's it for me i hope you guys enjoyed the video and you're feeling the beat as well i'm gonna go ahead finish off mixing and mastering this beat now but if you haven't already make sure you follow my instagram at severe prod to keep update with all the upcoming videos and giveaways that i have coming out soon anyway hope you guys enjoyed this one make sure you leave a like subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one